up my fellow citizens it's Geo here and today we're gonna be talking about the anvil terrapin now right off the bat if you guys didn't notice this was supposed to be a starship which no longer it is if you guys couldn't tell by that price and it used to be made by ages which I'm glad they changed it into a anvil ship because as much as an ages fanboy I am we need some more ships other than ages ship so it's good to see Anvil. I think anvil is like my second favorite maker too from from the ships i'm seeing to be honest so um definitely a plus in my book but initially when i first seen this ship i actually thought it was going to be a um a gunship I just immediately as soon as i seen it, i was like oh this thing is a freaking you know gunship then i noticed okay not that many guns guns on there maybe a drop ship something like that but it's it's kind of a little bit of everything from what i was reading because at, at first I, I didn't understand where this you know ship stands at you know I, I know i was gonna buy it off of looks but you know the the functionality so the more i ran into it the more intrigued i was so the first one we're going to talk about is the um the scanning and exploration uh variant now this one has like dual layers extensive shields like this is the real deal but the thing is the maneuverability as you can tell it's not going to be all the way there compared to something like your vanguard see now your vanguard you could probably attack a lot more um but it may not have as much uh, of a defensive system as this ship you know time will tell obviously but um if you're not looking for combat and you're more of a defensive guy i would probably go um exploring with this one over the sentinel and even though this ship is rated for a two-man crew for the pilot and a scanner you could pretty much do those jobs yourself on this ship so you don't need a two-man crew like you do on the sentinel um, and pretty much they said most of the situations so you know they don't say which situations but I'm guessing if you're uh, not under attack you could pretty much run everything by your uh, self without being you know under attack and stuff if you're under attack you probably may need that other uh, person unless you could you know you, you got it like that if you're real good and hook everything up and get the hell up out of there maybe you could do it I don't know now one of my favorite things about this ship is the reliability and how much the Navy has used it. They've been using it over 150 years, and most of the vets that leave um, the Navy, they usually pick one of these ships up, the uh, civilian variant. So that says a lot about this ship, and they're pretty cheap to fix from what I'm understanding, and we could pretty much expect a premium um, to fix something up like the Vanguard, because Aegis ships, I think they tend to be a little more than um, Anvil ships, a little more fancier and expensive. We don't know yet, I'm just you know speculating, but. I'm pretty sure this thing will probably be, you know, cheaper to fix, especially look at the years of service that the Navy squeezed out of this ship. So it has to be a good ship for them to use it um, for that long. Now, another thing I found pretty funny about this ship is most of the pilots call themselves uh, drivers, which is kind of funny because of the, the tankish ways that this ship has. And a matter of fact, it was actually um, like an APC, a space APC carrying troops back and forth but that's where i kind of get um kind of confused i don't know if they're going to have kits because if you look at the rescue picture it doesn't have the big um scanner um on top of it so i'm thinking they're going to have different variants of the ships or hopefully um i actually would per prefer kits instead of buying a whole bunch of ships so you would have the rescue kit we know that one's coming and we got the the scanner one um an exploration one of course so the third one i'm thinking to be it would be more like a drop ship um APC type thing and then they said you could eat um, even Turn this thing into a armored command ship, which I would like to see how that one would look it, I would probably think it would look more like the you know the scanning vessel to get those commands out um, But I don't know we will have to see now I'm just curious like I said if it's, is it gonna be variants or is it gonna be kits? That's what we need more information on hopefully the um, the next Q&A's that come out this week We can get some more info on that but I am so glad they released this ship because I was going to have to get a Cutlass Red. And hearing about the search and rescue variant, and I'm pretty sure if the Cutlass Red could fit in my Endeavor, I'm pretty sure this one could fit in there. And it looks so much cooler. And it actually looks like it's made for that type of operation. Like the perfect search and rescue ship, deeply armored, could take ground fire. So this ship is right up my alley. You know I'm definitely getting one. Um, so... Did you guys get one? Did you guys get any rovers? Did you get the expiration $800 kit? I already have a Carrick, so I'm cool with that. I bought the rover and the little uh, gray car or gray cab, whatever the hell it is. And, of course, I got this. So you guys let me know what you got and um, 
how many did you get? And you guys have a blessed day and one more thing. Star Citizen for life.